Well, this was our jack-o'-lantern last oh, night. Yeah. And it's an interesting squash thing because it's green. got this greenish yeah. gray skin on it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like nice fleshy orangey fruit. Yeah, absolutely beautiful color. Now there's two things you can do with it off the top of my head. I'm sure there are more things you can do. Mm -hmm. But we cover this with water, cook it, uh, simmer it until it's totally soft. Yeah. And then it looks like this here. Right. Yeah. Right? And then I just smash this up and, and use it for, for my pumpkin bread. Use them in. Pumpkin buns. Okay. And they are wonderful, wonderful taste, very moist. Okay. Uh, the other thing to use it for, just one sec, I'll show you, is pickled pumpkin. And it's made with a vinegar, water, and sugar solution. Right. Little ginger, little lemon peel, cinnamon stick, a few cloves, okay. yeah. pickled, and it can be served with turkey. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, as a condiment. As a pickle? Yeah, yeah. as a pickle. Okay. But it tastes so sweet that you actually can serve it with ice cream and whipped cream oh, fruit. as okay. a dessert. Okay. Right? So, yeah. different options here. <coughs> So what to do with your pumpkin after Halloween? Mm -hmm. Don't throw it out. Throw Use it, out. you know, or at yeah. least put it on your compost, if nothing else. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay. Well, that looks like a lot of work, though. That's probably Well, we it is a little, it. yeah, it's not, it's not the most pleasant work. Yeah. But these pumpkins are not cheap, you know, they're not jack-o'-lantern syrup. Yeah. So I really prefer to get some use out of yeah, it. Here we have yeah. another interesting one yeah. with little knobs on it, right. you know, little mm -hmm. warts or whatever you want mm -hmm. to call it. Yeah, yeah so they're all kinds you mm -hmm. can use. I mm -hmm. like this green one. Yeah, normally we use um, the French an heritage orange one, the French yeah. heritage. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we can add a picture of that as well. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now you're cutting up the. Yep, the jack o' lantern, yeah. which is actually it's it's not a. This is a jack o' lantern, right? Yeah. Um, this is also different squash because yeah. it has these knobs on it. Yeah. And I'll just throw them together. Okay. And. So you put them in a big pot and boil yeah. them. Anything in the water? Yep. Pardon, anything? What do you mean by anything in the water? Like salt or anything? No, nothing. Nothing in the water. And I have to process it later. I will mean, freeze it in yeah. little plastic containers. Okay. And we use it for starting our, our bread, our squash bread. Right. So I will mean, freeze it in plastic containers so you have to can it in a pressure canner. So that's a pretty big yeah. pan or yeah. pot. What, how, yeah. how long would that cook now? Um, we will see. Maybe half an hour or so. Yeah, at low heat. Yeah. Well, you don't want it bubbling over. This is on gas. Yeah. So we'll just wait until it simmers. But I'm still not done here. I still have right. way to go here. Right. So and the best thing is to take small chunks. Yeah. Like this, and just cut them down. Yeah. Okay. It's the best. The fastest. Okay, so what are we doing? Filling the... Yep, I have... This is all nice and soft now. And I will not even try to put it through a, through a machine, you know, to make it smooth. Yeah. Because it goes into the bread machine after and the bread hook just... Oh, um, whips um, it up. Yeah, yeah. It up anyway. So we have these sterilized jars here. And here I'm just boiling up the lids. And since this here has no acidity, it is just, it's just um, and a pumpkin and water. That's all that is in here because that's all we need. Um, we need to process this. Either prove this is a little too much, fine, like this is good. And we'll fill it into our canner. The canner, yeah. Is that pressure. called a canner or a pressure cooker? It's a cooker. pressure cooker. Yeah. yeah. 
It needs to be under pressure in order to close. Otherwise, when it gets too warm outside or um, it's, it starts fermenting inside, maybe. Yeah. And then uh, the seal breaks and then we can't use it anymore. So it needs to be pressure canned. Any vegetable that has no acidity in it, no sugar, right, uh, needs to be, or, or, or. Um, okay. Can I get by here yeah. quickly? Yeah. See, what I'm gonna do is I'll take um, a clean cloth and I go around the top to have it really nice and clean. Now I'm used to doing this, so if you want to do it, maybe you want to do it before you put it inside here. Okay. And here we have the already um, processed, very hot. Mm -hmm. And we'll put it on, and now please look. You put it on, but you just close it. Okay, it has a lot more, more, more. Um, you, you could close it further, but all you do is you just close it like this. That's all you do, right? Because that way, uh, the air can escape and it can be under vacuum, can be set under vacuum, right? So we'll do this with all of of these jars here, and once this is done, we will fill it up with water to the top and put it on the stove and then we'll come back. Okay. So here's the pressure cooker. Yeah. Now the thing with the pressure cooker is it has to go on an electric stove. It cannot go on a gas stove. Uh, for okay. some it's just too, you know, it's an aluminium yeah. cooker. So what I do here, I put very hot water in. I don't want to have a difference, too much of a difference in, in temperature. Mm -hmm. Here is the leftover water from the lids, from boiling up the lids. I'll put that in too, and I'll get another one, and then I'll show you how to, uh, how to close it. And this process of canning goes for anything you want to can. And I can talk about the differences after. You can also can a stew if you want to, right? Okay. So, no. So you, you want to kind of submerge them down a little? Yes. And what we'll do, you see, there is a lip here in the front. Yeah. And here we have a little point, yeah? yeah. And here we have the same little point here. You see it here? Mm -hmm. Okay, you see it? Okay. I do. So what we'll do is we'll put this, this has to be in the front, otherwise it doesn't work. It has to be, has to align. And then we go like this, and now we turn it on to high. It will start to boil. When it boils and the pressure builds up, this little valve will come up. And as soon as this little valve comes up, we have to close this here with this here. But I'll show you that when it happens. Right now, we'll bring it up to a boil and we'll wait until this comes up and then we'll come back. Okay. So now we're bubbling, I guess. Yeah, yeah? so as you can see, it's just about to pop up. Sometimes I yeah. just help it a little, see it stays up. Right. right. So what we'll do now, we put it under pressure because see, the air is coming out of here, so we have to stop that. There's a weight, yeah. and now the pressure builds up in the pot. Okay. And usually, like for this here, it's not, I probably bring it up to 15. Yeah. And it should usually, you should never go more than 15. Okay? Yeah. Never, even for meat, it shouldn't go more, more than 15. So what I will do with this, I will let it come up probably to 10, 12, even to 15, which doesn't take long. And then I will shut it off. Okay. And let it sit until it cools down. Yeah. And then I'll just tighten the jars and they're perfectly sealed. Okay. And of course when when they're sealed, you know the lid is 
is sucked in. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, and you have to leave it in there because you can't open up when it's done, when it's under pressure, because otherwise right. it explodes, right? So yeah. that's the problem. So we we'll leave it in. When you do meat or stews, then you have to do maybe 20, 25 to, uh, minutes until uh, in, the, in this range here between 12 and 15. Right. For that amount of time, you have to process it. But the for meat. just yeah. pumpkin, that's fine. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, but you can look that up. Uh, you can Google it, and it will tell you, you know, how much each different vegetable you oh, know, okay. needs and so on. Right. Okay. So all we want is we just want to have it under pressure yeah. and have it done. Okay? Sounds good. Okay. Looks Thank like you. we got the pumpkin factory yeah, going here, here today. Is the other one going? This yeah. is the third type. Yeah. Which you can see a little bit, which is the French heritage. Yeah. Also very yellow. Yeah. Wonderful for bread baking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you use it in place of the liquid? Liquid for the bread baking. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I just add the, the yeast and the honey and so this is yeah. instead of throwing out the pumpkins, yeah. you save the earth a little bit yeah. and the planet. Yeah. I mean, pumpkins will uh, compost good, but, yeah. but why throw out good food? Every yeah. Year. Yeah. Every year I actually buy pumpkins for the bread yeah. because it makes wonderful yellow buns, yeah. absolutely beautiful, deep yellow buns. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every All the guests comment yeah. on those so squash buns. So moist and wonderful, so it's wonderful. So it looks like we're getting up here to about 10 now. Yeah. All right, and it's starting to, to sound like it's really make, makes a making noise. some action. Yeah. yeah. So you wait till 15? Ah, uh, 12 maybe. You know, it is hot already on the inside. I filled it in hot. I put yeah. hot water in. Um, it yeah. doesn't need to cook or anything. It just needs to build up a that vacuum. Right. On the inside, which it does right now, pressure, okay. right? Yeah. So we'll just let it go a little bit mm -hmm. and, until probably whatever. So we're at our 15 now. Yeah, and I'm shutting it off. The heat off. I'm shutting it off and I let it go down by itself. And please do not touch anything. Don't touch this. Yeah. Don't try to open it. I warn you. Yeah. Um, it's going to explode in your face yeah. and it's going to burn. Yeah, That's horrible, horrible, steam, horrible yeah. accidents have yeah. happened. So you just let it go down by itself until it goes down to zero. Right. And when it's down at zero, then you can open up. You take this okay. off first, yeah. and then you can open up. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. We'll be back for that. We'll be back. You can hardly wait. <laughs> this is exciting, this canning stuff. Well, mostly it's a uh, dying art, I guess, but no, it's it, coming it, it back is now. It's coming back because many people are preserving more and more, yeah. even for, you know, an earthquake um, we or waste, whatever. We waste so and, much yeah, food. Yeah, we waste so it. much yeah. food. And the other thing is a freezer, you know, when there's no electricity, yeah. can break down, but you can't yeah. good, so always good. Right, right. yeah. So, yeah, you, that's a good point yeah. because. Yeah. Your yeah. canned goods don't need refrigeration. Yeah. 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 No, that's, that's great. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Okay, what did you just do here? I took the top off and it kind of here Went it is. Flying. Okay. Okay, we're down to zero. Yeah, we're down to zero. Yeah. So we took the top off. There's yeah. a little bit of pressure on it, right? Yeah. But really nothing. Okay. Yeah. So slowly, you see? It's still going. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's up. Actually, it doesn't open up, so it, I don't think it's it's ready. Yet. Yeah. It's not ready. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it is. Okay. Do you need a man's touch. Oh, I know, I know. So now look at this. Yeah. And if you like to stand back a little yeah. bit, okay. and I'm gonna put it onto right. the table. Is that what that's for? Yeah. And you okay. always put it on a fat, thick 
glass. Yeah. And now you can see why we don't fill it totally. See that still because bubbling in there. Because it's still bubbling, right? Yeah. Take them all out, and you need one of these devices, one of these holders. Yeah. Get them in any canning supply. There are a few things you need for canning. One of them is yeah. one of these, of course. Yeah. And um, this is quite hot, so I'm just going to put it like this. So they're all still bubbling inside. I remember my grandma and my mom canning for days on end yeah. and every fall. Yeah, that was peaches. the old way and it's coming again. You have many people here at the B and B who all start to can again. So what yeah. we'll do here now is we'll take a a cloth and you have to hold it with a cloth and you just tighten it. Okay? Just tighten it. Because see, this is very is very light, right? Yeah. And we just tighten it. Mm -hmm. So when you put them in, they're sort of loose. Yeah. Okay. Because then but they're the sealed, so the other water yeah, can't yeah. get in, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then the air can can uh, come out. Can, yeah. You know, the, it can steam out because yeah. see it, it, and then a vacuum. Yeah. A vacuum. When that cools, it'll form yeah. a vacuum. Yeah. It already forms a vacuum. No, these are not quite close, but they will. So yeah. what you do to be extremely careful with this yeah. is you put this on top. Yeah. And then if you want, I have a few towels here. You just put them on top. And, and why is that? You like, you like them to cool down slowly. very so, slowly. So you put them to bed yeah. kind of. Yeah, okay. I put them a little bit to bed here. Sorry right. about, you know. This is a working kitchen, this is not a show kitchen. Uh -oh. So here you go. You put this on top too, we let it cool down. Mm. I'll leave it until tomorrow or later tonight. Yeah. Right? A few yeah. hours. And then we'll cool down. Yeah. And here I have them there. And the water stays. And you do the second Three, second five, course six. of six. Yeah. And seven. Let's see, we don't even have to add water comes all up okay, to here. Yeah. So what we'll do here is we do the same thing again. So we need Turn a man. it on. You didn't need a man for that. Well, yeah, I do. Oh. Only just for to filming. Stand by, just to stand by. And give orders? Just, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll do the same here again. Okay. And actually with these three pumpkins, we have about 20 jars of this here, yeah. uh, which is about lasts us three days of dough, usually. 20 for, jars? For, yeah, oh, 20 one jars. jar. One jar is about one big um, batch of dough. Yeah. And that lasts us for about three days for the bed and breakfast. Okay, mm -hmm. so you use them all up every year then, basically? Basically. I always see that I have more than I need. Right. Yeah. So, just to make sure, because I have to go until next fall, right? Okay. Yeah, so they have to carry me through the So winter. you actually get a use out of all of this, Oh, everything. definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I know you don't yeah. waste anything. Yeah. I use them for cinnamon rolls. I may use it for a squash soup. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Good morning, Vanessa. Oh, good morning, Dean. We're just oh. uncovering our, our canning. canning, and as you can see, yeah. I tighten them, but when yeah. you untighten them, they yeah, are totally... No, no, you can't. Yeah. They're really, they're much firmer than if you... Yeah. They're much firmer when you do... So they yeah. suck in, right? Yeah, they suck in, and nothing sticking out, otherwise they would have kind of a hollow... Um, or when yeah. you press on them, yeah. they would just go right up and down, yeah. like this. Yeah. So that's it, and now they're going to be put away. I just put a little label on, yeah. October 2014. Right. And uh, here we so have... So successful tanning means you've created yeah. a vacuum. And in here these. we have the other batch. Yeah. See, we have a whole bunch and they're yeah. lasting us for quite a while. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Good.